you lads already know. Oh yeah. Good morning. Today is off to an awesome start. Um, everything is just on time and as per schedule, which is great. Um, Sam Vane's left for his holiday, so he's off for a week, which is awesome for him. I'm glad he's finally able to take a holiday. Um, so I'll be here in the workshop with just Kyle, which means it may be a bit difficult for me to film what's going on in the workshop, but I'll still try my best at that. Um, but today, I'm planning to clean out the Civic, get rid of all that stank and grossness in there from the previous owner. Um, and then we found a rear disc conversion kit for the brakes for $150. So pretty keen to try and see if we can pick that up and get that for the Civic, as well as just go over and bleed the brakes, get everything feeling really good, find some wider tires and grippier rubber, um, and then we can start bombing mountains in it. I'm pretty pumped, man. This thing's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so workshop update. Kyle's working by his lonesome self, and uh, we're finally working on this beautiful Black 34, um, doing a really nice top mount turbo kit and everything on this and getting this sent off to the dyno. It's gonna make some pretty decent power. It's a Neo, so you don't really have to do much to them to make 500 horsepower really reliably and easily. But he's got the really crappy job right now of, what are you doing, Kyle? Removing exhaust studs that have been yes. since factory. Since factory. These exhaust studs have never been taken out. And if anyone who has an RB knows that in the RB Bible it says, one does not simply remove exhaust studs from an RB without needing an extractor kit. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six left. One of these is gonna snap and you're gonna need the extractor kit. Put a comment in the comment section if you own an RB and you've been through this exact situation, whether you've gotten all the studs out and the very last one snaps or every single one of them is snapped because that's also very common on the RBs. Um, a little bit of advice for you guys actually is in the Japan service manual, um, for every Skyline for, and every RB, and actually I'm pretty sure it's standard across the board in all cars in Japan, it says that at your 100,000 kilometer service, when you get your timing belt done, it's actually written in there that you're also meant to do your exhaust studs because they are a, what do you call it? Like a consumable product that you're meant to replace? A serviceable item. They're meant to stretch and expand and they need to be replaced uh, at the 90,000 kilometer, 100,000 kilometer mark when you do your timing belt. And no one ever does it, so this is why we have this issue. Okay, time for this guy. Go off to the dyno. Let's get a jump in and get this out of the park for him. It's gonna be cool to see what power this thing makes. Man, reminds me of my 33. Way too keen for this, eh? The clutch in this feels amazing. Yeah, boy. All right, won't drive that up. We'll leave that for him. How cool is this? He's standing on it to keep tension on it for the winch and it's just dragging him up the freaking ramp. That's funny. Do you often load boats up? Uh, <laughs> all the time. Look at this guy op operating his remote while loading the car up. He knows what's up, look at that. <laughs> now what could be happening here? This looks like trouble. Yeah, this is probably the dodgiest thing I've ever done. Up we go, boys. Gotta switch out this light. <laughs> yep, this was the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Got the old light here. New ones up there, you can't really tell by camera, but this one's missing two bulbs. Okay, so I've disassembled the light now to inspect what's going on. This is the part that I think's failed, which is just the LED power supply that goes to the LED chip. And the reason why I think that that's failed is looking at the chips here, I see no visible damage to them. And normally when they blow, you see some damage to them. Um, and I know that these are pretty common to fail because they're a cheap serviceable product. We've had this since 2016 and they get used for 10 hours a day nonstop. So pretty common um, and they're super cheap out of China as well. So that's kind of what I expect for these power supplies to blow all the time. So I'm going to test them with a multimeter, see if they got power. If they don't have power, then we know that these need to be replaced and it's super easy to do and uh, I'll order some more. So I'm going to check that now and then uh, we'll get to it. All right, so you guys might not be able to see this, but I've got the multimeter on the chip there to see what voltage it's getting. And we can see that it's getting the full 41 volts. So looks like it's actually the, the chips that are blown, not the power supplies on the back. So that, that's actually a little bit easier. The chips are much cheaper than the power supplies. So that's a win there. 
unplug that. So I stop blinding myself in the face. That'd be great. Um, so yeah, there you go. So I just take the lens off and then you can uh, put a multimeter across here to see what's going on. But that's what the issue was. So I'll uh, order a whole bunch of new chips then. And then uh, we can get these all up and running again. Alrighty, enough playing electrician, ordered the new light chips. We are going to be cleaning out this filthy CD Civic, yo. And uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'm pretty sure it's mud, I mean, or someone lost control of their bowels. I don't know, but uh, we will find out. And we got to, oh man, it's, it's even worse back there. What the hell? What's going on in there? Anything, anything in there? There's a little wrapper in there. I'm scared to put my hand in that. Oh yeah, fun times. All right, so we're gonna start vacuuming, cleaning, getting all the trash out of this thing, getting it kind of looking respectable, cleaning up things like this. Yeah, yummy. That looks amazing. And stuff like that is just gross. Oh my God, I put my hand in the crap. Far out. All right, we'll vacuum it all out, try and get it looking clean. We'll go from there. Okay, I gotta show you guys this. Move this seat forward, stuck my hand in there and pulled all of this out. Moldy old fries and McDonald's and freaking sauce packets leaking everywhere. Some filters and tobacco leaves on the floor like, and the mud over here just gets worse. Man, I do not wanna know what's under this seat, but we're gonna take the seat out, strip it out, weight reduction, um, far out. I also just found this after cleaning up all of that fast food crap. I think, yep, yep, that's the piece that broke off my handle. I got a new one of these coming, but it's black, so it's not gonna be glitter paint, but maybe we can just like glue that on there. Can we just, nah, it's not gonna hold at all. But anyways, we found this piece at least. And that explains that with some pube hair on there as well. Is it gonna focus? There you go, you can kind of see it. Okay, so things are starting to look much cleaner in here. Looking really nice and clean in the back. It's a bit dark, I know. I started working in the rear here, and there's this really sus looking bag. And it's, I don't know what's in here, but it's like gross looking. So we're gonna open this and tip it out. Hopefully it's just like wheel lugs or something weird, I don't know. Ah, oh, that's exactly what it is. And the key, oh my God. I was worried about this, and I was wondering if this, there was gonna be a key for these. Yes, we found the key boys in a little sus baggie, hey? All right, well that's a win. What else is in the back here? We'll pull out the spare tire. Ugh. Oh boy. Oh boy, what a surprise. <laughs> oh, yuck. Oh, yep. Okay. That's pretty rank. It's still wet too. Oh, <laughs> yuck. Okay, yeah, that's going straight in the bin. All right, we're gonna vacuum and clean all of that out. Might have to drill a hole to drain it, but uh, yum. Civic, CD Civic surprises, hey? The CD Civic never uh, ceases to amaze. Hey, another 50 cents. This car's costing less and less the more I clean it. Like, look at all this change in here, it's great. All right, back to cleaning. Alrighty, so I just put the Civic outside because we've got to push that car and the 34 inside and pack up and head home. Carl's finished practicing welding, so uh, we're going to wrap things up here. Alrighty, time to go home. Ended up staying back a little bit later. Um, did a bit of business work and whatnot, bookkeeping. You know how it is. It's hard sometimes when you're a business owner because all you want to do is go home, but then you get caught up doing a whole bunch of paperwork and things like that. It's just how it is. There's always so much that you need to do after hours. Really, you don't, no such thing as a nine to five job when you're in a company. That's just how it is. Alrighty, let's head home in the Mang Mang Civic. Sorry, I mean the CD Civic is the current name until people tell me otherwise in the comment section. But for now, let's get going. Okay, so I'm home now and perfect time to do our Japanese lesson of the day. Today, we're gonna to be learning set as in like, it's pronounced the same as Seth, right? So it's just S-E. And that's the symbol there. As you can see, it kind of looks like two T's with a line through the top. Um, and the first word we're gonna learn there is Sensu, which is a traditional like Japanese fan that you see like the girls with, with their kimonos and whatnot. And then the next word there is Sentaku-ki, Sentaku-ki, 
which is washing machine. And then the next word is senbet, which is just rice cracker. So have a look at these Japanese words. One, two, three. And we're done with today's Japanese lesson. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Nice, easy one for you. Let's recap for today. So we got the Civic cleaned out a little bit better. I still need to spend probably another hour just vacuuming everything again and cleaning all the interior with the cleaner and stuff. I want to do the windows on the inside as well. I also want to do some of like the plastics going up to the roof and the side like pillars and stuff. Um, I cleaned that car a lot today and it is looking better. It definitely smells better, um, but there's still a lot more cleaning that it needs. I'm even thinking about uh, paying $100 to get it, like the carpets shampooed or something, but I kind of, I don't know. I don't think I want to do that because I'm just going to end up stripping all of that out probably anyways. So probably not worth getting it shampooed, right? Especially considering I don't want to even pull out all the factory seats and just put like two bride buckets in or something, right? Anyways, so I'll hold off on that for now. But as long as, uh, uh, right now I feel like I'm not going to catch any diseases from it anymore. At least, at least I've got that going for us. Um, but yeah, I'm still really happy with the Civic. I've got some things on order to kind of like get some things fixed up. Um, I'm also trying to get some hookups and stuff with like steering wheels and boss kits and stuff to try and, you know, so that when we get the, uh, what is it? The rack ends and tie rod ends replaced that I've got a good like steering wheel and stuff to kind of like steer the car. Cause I want to start bombing mountains in it and just having a bunch of fun. Like seriously, the D16 NA, sure. It doesn't have a lot of power, but the car's light. And if I strip out a whole bunch of the interior, it's gonna feel good, get some strut braces in there and, and just get the thing feeling a bit more rigid and we can have a bit of fun in it. We definitely need to try and get some coilovers. So I'm talking to DGR right now, seeing if they're gonna to come to the party. A lot of things that I wanna do, um, which would be sick. And uh, I'm also still trying to find, because right now the nitrous kits for uh, four and six cylinders are all sold out everywhere that I call. And it's like driving me insane. And, and the only other option is an eight cylinder one, which then means I just don't have to use the extra fogger that comes with it, right? I can just wire up one of them. but uh, And then I've got two spare solenoids, I guess. But it's kind of weird, I, I don't know. It, uh, it You save like $150 if you don't get, or $200 if you don't get the eight cylinder one. So I'm just gonna keep trying to see uh, if we can find someone that actually has the kit. If any of you guys have a nitrous kit, please DM me, as well as if any of you have any Civic parts, like upgrade Civic parts um, that you think are worthwhile me getting, please DM me. I would love to get some rear calipers on there. So I need like, I think a handbrake cable. We re already found like a full rear caliper kit for 150 bucks. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm finding, but if any of you guys have any Civic parts that you want to ship to me, uh, please DM me. I would love them. Um, for now, I'm probably just going to pass out and go to sleep and uh, dream about things I want to do to the Civic. Definitely once we're done with the D16, whether it blows up or whatever happens with it, we're definitely going to be doing a K-swap. That is just 100% what's happening. Um, the, the shell itself is pretty straight. I mean, sure, there's a few places where there's dings and stuff like that, but nothing that I, I care about. Um, everything suspension-wise and rails and chassis-wise looks good. There's no crazy rust. Uh, there's just that ding in the front. That's an easy pull-out job. We don't even, like, it's a replaceable part too, so we could just replace it. But where's the fun in that, right? Um, but yeah, I think that kind of wraps up everything. I'm talking a lot about the Civic because there's just so much I want to do. Sorry today wasn't a super entertaining video with the Civic though. It's just cleaning, but I mean, still like, it was pretty gross. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, check me out on Twitter, by the way. Samit01, same as my Instagram. I'd like to see some more of you guys following me there. I think it'd be cool. Ciao, matane.